and welcome back guys we're going to continue into vault 22 here hope everyone's liking the series make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe button let's go play some fallout new videos indeed this should only take a minute just a few more moments and it's done we can rest easy I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thing. Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Destroyed? Really? I find that hard to believe. More likely, you failed to locate the proper server. Keeley, again. Do you... do you understand what that rotting old bitch has done? Thousands of people, mass starvation, we had a chance to avoid that. And I had a chance to prove that scientists could be more than a bunch of useless idealists. But Keeley doesn't give a goddamn about that, does she? You're an accomplice in this. Keeley is one old woman. You could have easily stopped her. You're either incompetent or you're on her side. Now get out of this office. Get out.
What are you doing in my office? I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent, but I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. We don't have much to go on right now. It derails everything. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Bo Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion.
Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. Yeah. So far, this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army, and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. That's the spirit. Should have brought something to... Lieutenant, I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the call. Or you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Seelus? If you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. 
You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? You must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Whatever. Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves. They kill themselves to evade capture because but I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the time. I'll show you gutless, you s Over here! Whoa, easy there. Here's the I think my friend doesn't like you, Seelus. I don't know how much longer I can keep her under control. You think this will make me talk? A beating? This is the best you can do? Not just any beating, Seelus. A savage beating. A beating that you'll be reminded of every time you feel pain from now on. When my friend's done with you, you won't have any of your teeth left. You'll be drinking your food through a straw. Your ribs will never heal properly, and it will hurt every time you breathe. It'll be like your collars, Silus. Impossible to forget. Go to hell. Huh. Not the sort of witch I do expect you, Silus. God, you're getting nothing from me. So what's it gonna be? He misses you. And let me check you for weapons one more time. For your safety as well as his. Enough, this is pointless. I'm dead to the Legion either way, I'll tell you what I know. But you should know that Kaisar has always kept his own counsel. He never reveals anything that would make him vulnerable. My knowledge will not prevent the inevitable. This camp will be ash within months. Maybe weeks. Something is wrong with Kaisar. Something he is attempting to hide from his men. But it was obvious before we set out on this last mission. For three days we awaited his order to dispatch us. Three days. But he hid in his tent, refusing to give orders, complaining of headaches. He looks different now than he used to. His face is sunken, sickly. There is one other thing that may interest you. I know that Kaisar has planted a spy here. Every night, details of NCR troop movements are broadcast from a radio on this base. The spy has been here a long time, since before the entire conflict began. If I knew who he was, I would tell you. If I escape and he's alive to report it, the Legion... But like I said, none of this information will change the outcome for you. Why don't you wait in the other room while I check the sea loose here? That was fun to watch. I'd have you do it again, but I'd probably get in trouble. This'll do the NCR a lot of good, so you should be proud. Here's the standard fee. Plus, I threw in the price of a good show on the Strip. That's from me, personally. You can beat up my prisoners anytime. Not the kind of thing... Good. The more guns you can recover, the...
Sirius Picus. Over. What are you doing here? You don't have clearance. Really? And how would you know where I'm supposed to be? I don't know what you mean. I've got you now! Something I can do for you? Yes? What is it? No? What happened? Curtis. Something's not right. He came to me today saying he was worried about the monorail. Had me put him in charge of the inspection crew. Listen, you've got to get to the monorail. If it's been sabotaged, we're completely crippled here. Go. So when we come back, we'll go ahead over to the my rail and see if we can find anything suspicious. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe button, I'll see you again.